happening gang it's your girl tiana whoa and i am back with another video so as you guys can see in the title this is a video on my favorite nude lip um a lot of times i wear this in my videos and i'll do it in like a makeup tutorial but i never really like fully go in depth into it or i'm always like out of camera so i wanted to make sure that you guys had like a full um tutorial on this lip without me just like explaining to you guys and probably not understanding completely um yeah and if you guys are new to my channel you know what's good what's popping um welcome um if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want to see how i do this new lip then just keep on watching okay so the lip liner that i use for this lip is cork by mac um let's see do i'm gonna get some focus <laughs> can i get some focused action or no Let's see, maybe right here. Yes, there we go. Yeah, come back. Okay, so I seen this on a girl. Um, she just had the lip liner on, and I was like, "Oh, what is that? Like, let me get that." And so then she was like, "Oh, it's cork, blah blah blah," and they were always out of stock. Like, I'm from Vegas, so like, there's a lot of makeup artists. There's people, a lot of people who like makeup out there, so they were always out of stock. So I was like, okay, I'm never gonna get this. So I finally, when I was in Reno, I was like, oh my god, I forgot. I really love this lip liner. So I finally got it, and I was like, yes. So um, before I do my lips, I usually put Aquaphor on my lips, um, just so they're not like super super dry, and then um, I kind of just like take it off, but not so much, I guess. So um, what you're gonna do is you're going to outline your lips, uh, and I just outline. I don't need to like overline my lips. I got some nice lips. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm so annoying, but I feel like I have cute lips. Like sometimes I'd be sitting there like I feel like I look like I got my lips done, but I didn't. Anyways, so just outline. Ooh. This need to be sharpened. Look at the top. And like you can tell like on my lips it's like barely seen. Like you can barely see it but you can see it I think. If that makes sense. Okay. So we have our first outline. So I just outline my lips. And then what I do is I kind of just bring it up. Like little lines. Like this, just so I can have like that ombre effect. Okay, and then I just pat my lips together. Okay, so the lipstick that I use is this naturally, you probably can't even see it, so I'm gonna just say it. It's naturally transformed by MAC. So this is what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks like a concealer stick. Kind of looks like it would be perfect if you needed to highlight with this. Like if you were the perfect, like if this was good enough for your highlight, pop in. Anyways, so um, I'm going to place it in like the middle of my lip only. Like that. And then I'm just going to pat my lips together. You know just taking it slow, babe. Somebody show me the road use a lot of the lipstick um because it's really like if i was to put this all over my lips like it wouldn't be that cute it would be kind of cute but this is like a lipstick that needs a lip liner but it's like perfect because it's like the lip liner kind of blends in with my skin i don't know i just love it and then what i do a lot of people think it's just um a lipstick or a lip gloss that i'm wearing but it's actually like a lipstick and a lip liner and then i put lip gloss on top i usually put any lip gloss on top but i usually um put sunshine most of the time is sunshine by nyx and it comes in a different bottle or what is this is it even called a bottle maybe it's not called a bottle um it doesn't come in this though i know that and i don't think they usually have it in stores i got this i want to say from like the swap meet so i don't know but i'm pretty i've seen it on their website before so but it's definitely nyx sunshine um this one it it has like glitter in it i use it all the time for this lip so i feel like it kind of like changing colors but i know for sure it was like a goldy glitter ish kind of lip gloss so then what i do is i just take it and i put it all over but i like to put it like i don't like to just go like this i kind of like to put it in sections 
even though it's still gonna blend together I still want it to be like I'm placing a lipstick on our lip gloss color and then I just slightly rub my lips together but not too much because I still wanted to have that ombre effect and then that's pretty much it so like these are this is literally like my go-to lip you'll probably always see me in a video with it on um I don't know it's just my favorite I'm really into nudes um I have other lips but like I do other things but I like ombre and then sometimes I'll like risk it all and wear one solid color but not so much and I just love lip gloss and some lipsticks don't look good with lip gloss on top because I hate my lips dry like that's probably something I boy like if you're ever around me and I don't have any chapstick around you'll probably think I like do drugs or something because I will literally stop whatever I'm doing just so I can find some chapstick, some lip gloss, hum. Like I will go to the store and go buy some before I move on with my day. Like that's how tragic it is when I don't have any lip gloss or anything on my lips. Um, but other than that, yes. So all you need is cork, this naturally transformed lipstick from MAC. And it's a matte lipstick too. I forgot to mention that. And then just some gloss. Like you can use any gloss. Like it can be a clear gloss. But if you want, definitely um, NYX Sunshine. So yeah. Um i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on my favorite lip and well i should say my favorite nude lip like i always say don't forget to like it if you guys like it don't forget to comment if you guys want to comment and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to subscribe and i will see you all in my next video